was emotional, but Tebow wasn't done making Seth's day special. Sethy, now he's gonna hit a home run. His mother predicts Tebow will hit a home run. Just wait and see. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Spaulding. A day at the ballpark this young fan will never forget. Nor will we. Thanks for watching. Roots by Roger, Roger that You want a master elite provider Roger that You want a lifetime guarantee Roger that too Cause Roots by Roger I guarantee to last for you For a whole new roof, for a simple fix Call 1-800-287-3956 Featured on America's Got Talent and coming to Effingham Performance Center, Illuminate. On stage, Friday, October 6th, the best new act in America. A journey of light, dance, and sound. Spectacular, magical, dazzling. The show plenty are trying to imitate, but they'll never out-innovate. Illuminate, Friday, October 6th at the EPC. Tickets at Ticketmaster.com by phone or the box office. Sponsored by Turnkey Computers. IT support for small business. The corners of a city street, a table and a cafe seat. I've got you everywhere I go. You're everywhere, got you everywhere. You're watching X-49. Certified by WeatherRate as Central Illinois' most accurate for the fifth year running. This is your WCIA3 forecast first. Thanks for joining us on the X. A beautiful Friday evening with clearing skies and dew points that are coming down in very comfortable temperatures. 74 the current temperature here in Champaign, 75 in Danville. Uh, Effingham, 81 degrees where they wrapped up of the very last our town of the season and 75 currently in Lincoln. Wind speeds, they're all generally coming in out of the northwest helping to drive our temperatures into comfortable territory once again and also helping to lower our dew points too. We will see a bit more clear skies overnight tonight. Temperatures will drop into the upper 50s and low 60s. Very comfortable comfortable and it'll be a beautiful weekend. WCI3, your local news leader, starts right now. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA3 News at 7. Good evening, I'm Ty Bateman. Police are investigating after three kids were almost abducted and now the family is sharing their story. It happened near the post office in Goodwin on County Road 1800 East. The family involved says kidnappings can be an afterthought when you live in a smaller rural town, especially when everyone knows each other. But now one family is guarding their kids a little closer. Officials say three children were near the post office in town yesterday when a white van with tinted windows rolled up. The children reported a man asking them to come over and offering them candy. All the kids are safe, but their grandmother says they'll be much more careful now. These are my grandchildren, you know, and to be so scared like this. There's children missing from all around here, and you always hear about the, the slave trade and stuff, you know. You just don't know. You really have to keep children close to you. The person they're looking for is described as a tall white man in his 20s. If you know anything, call the Iroquois County Sheriff's Office. Well, Champaign police are investigating three incidents of shots fired. The third sent one man to the hospital. It happened just after 2 this morning in the 2500 block of West Springfield. Police say a 23-year-old Champaign man was laying on the ground outside an apartment building. He says he was involved in a fight outside an apartment complex when shots were fired. He is expected to be okay. And 60 cats were rescued from an abandoned shed this week in Murfreesboro. Now 30 more are being added to that number. This is a WCIA 3 follow-up. 
Jessica Simpak with Hospice Heart said she's overwhelmed with the amount of support. And now that there are other cats in need, she couldn't say no. The cats arrived in Urbana tonight at 5. There will be an adoption event this Sunday from 1 to 5 at Pet Supplies Plus in Champaign. And state senators will be heading back to the capital city this Sunday to pick back up on the school funding bill. We're keeping you connected to the capital. And when lawmakers return, they're expected to override Governor Rauner's veto. But the real challenge lies in the House and getting enough votes to follow up on the Senate's motion. Senator Andy Menard still has yet to file an override motion. He says he will wait until Sunday to see if negotiations with Republicans move forward. Kids in Illinois will soon get more opportunities in the classroom to learn about computer science. Google teamed up with the nonprofit 4-H and granted $1.5 million to the state to invest in new computer science programs. These programs are supposed to help 6 million kids who have limited access to computers and the Internet. The ceremony was held on the fairgrounds. And one of the longest driving Champaign Urbana mass transit district operators is getting some recognition. One of his passengers called to leave a nice note about him. What we found is many of his regular passengers feel the same. WCIA3's Caitlin Connolly has the story. Uh, 19 years, 20 next July. That's how long operator Donald Goodrich has been driving with the Champaign County Mass Transit District. Each day, he has dozens of stops and hundreds of passengers. I would say probably um, within like two or three hundred on a, on a slow day, on a good day, is probably a lot more than that. And in those hundreds of passengers, one felt compelled to call CUMTD to say this. He had a kind word for every single person boarding and leaving the bus. And he even knew the destination of all the regulars. And his great service has reached far and wide. Many of his regular passengers also had nice things to say about him. It just makes you feel very comfortable. And sometimes you don't even feel like a passenger. It's like, you know, it's like, hey, I've been knowing this guy for so long. I don't even pay attention. He's a bus driver or not. It's a good man. There are 111 buses and 250 bus drivers. But for operator Goodrich's regulars, it's his face they want to see at the wheel. Well, he always has a smile on his face. He always has something fun to say. Just makes it a pleasant ride every day. Some even go as far as calling him a friend. He's just an awesome driver, and I love what he does. He's thumbs up awesome. But for Goodrich, it's all in a day's work. I want to make him feel comfortable when they get on my bus. And don't worry, even when he retires in four years, he won't be driving away for good. And then I'm going to try to retire and then come back work part time uh, just so I can see everybody still. <laughs> Operator Goodridge will have a new schedule starting in the fall. Well, it looks like it's up, up and away for another balloons over Vermillion. This is an update from your newsleader. They announced dates for the third annual event. It will run next July on the 13th and 14th of next year. The Hot Air Balloon Festival will once again be held at the Vermilion Regional Airport in Danville. Last month's event surpassed year one, drawing in over 22,000 people. This week, you might not have believed your own eyes if you were out in Champaign. There's a chance you saw some not so ordinary antics on the street, from people in chicken costumes crossing roads to games of mannequin head bowling. Thousands are saying goodbye to everyday life to compete in an international scavenger hunt. Teams complete challenges and catch the acts on picture or video. Many of those involve random acts of kindness. One member of a champagne team says that's her favorite part. It just gets you out of your everyday life. You're doing creative stuff. You're doing kind stuff. You're just doing silly stuff that you wouldn't do in normal day life, and it gives you a reason to do it. Several teams are competing here in central Illinois. We'll show you some of their craziest stunts on the news on Sunday night. Well, do you know what to expect during the solar eclipse later this month? We'll break down everything you need to know coming up. Very nice evening shaping up for central Illinois as we go into the 7 o'clock hour. Still looking at clearing skies across central Illinois. 274, the high here in Champaign, looking out over Champaign in the Bradshaw Heating and Air Conditioning Sky Cam, part of the Roofing Dog INET. Looking at our headlines, though, we're clearing out a little bit cool tonight, uh, but we'll look at our next rain chance in the forecast. It's coming up. Pamper your feet. 
But this at-home pedicure. I don't have time for that. My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. Pamper your feet with this at-home pedicure. I don't have time for that. My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet. Guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. There can be one and only one most accurate forecast in central Illinois. And for the fifth year running, the honor goes to Chief Meteorologist Kevin Leidy and the WCIA3 weather team. Independently certified by weather rate, most accurate. When a couple of degrees can mean the difference between rain or snow, you need to know. It's how you plan your day. WCIA3 is certified the most accurate forecast five years in a row. WCIA3, your local weather leader. Your role as a police officer, it's not just a job, it's, it's your identity. To come forward and, and say, hey, I can't hear, is very scary. Introducing the most innovative, discreet hearing technology available. Hearing is a jewel. This is technology that is nothing short of amazing. Call 1-800-834-7812 for your free screening. Having restored hearing is the reason why I'm back doing the job I love. My life is better with Belltone. Those we trust, trust Belltone. Work hard, sleep well with Sealy Posturepedic and Just Beds. At the heart of every Sealy mattress is the support that's just right for you. You can trust Sealy for durable support and comfort in every mattress they make. Right now at Just Beds, you can get Sealy Comfort at a great price. Sealy Twin Sets, $299. Queen Sets, just $399. Plus, save $450 on Sealy's award winning hybrid sets. As always, free delivery, setup, and removal. Visit the Yawn Exterminators at Just Beds on Monvale Drive, Springfield. Just Beds. And now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Gerfin. We've had a cold front pushing through Central Illinois last night into this morning. That was the reason why we had the storms yesterday. But with the uh, summertime cold fronts, it typically takes about a day or so for you to actually feel the cooling effects from it. And that's why this morning uh, into the early afternoon hours, you still kind of felt a little bit muggy. But uh, as you look at satellite radar, you can definitely tell where the front is. It's now just clipping the uh, Jasper and Crawford County area. Basically, these spotty little showers will be moving off to the east, southeast, away from us. You can see the center of circulation over Lake Michigan, or over Michigan um, and then we have a uh, high pressure off to the west that'll be coming into central Illinois uh, overnight tonight and staying with us for the weekend so here's a future track and as we look at the wide view you'll notice that high pressure comes in and then like it has been for so far a lot of the end of July into August it kind of parks itself over us and it'll stay over central Illinois for a few days and that's why it's gonna be a pretty quiet forecast for the weekend we're thinking that maybe this system will provide us with some beneficial rain on Sunday that no longer looks to be the case though so uh, it looks to be a very dry weekend but we still have rain chances in the forecast they're just more towards the middle uh, to end of next week um, along with the uh, high pressure it's gonna be nice and comfortable too. upper 70s for the weekend beautiful with plenty of sunshine and then a slow warming trend will occur as we go towards the end of the forecast so by Thursday we look to top out at our warmest temperature of 84 and that's also when we think there could be some rain showers coming in here. So for this evening, we're looking at uh, mostly clear skies at this point for pretty much everybody. And our temperatures are falling into the 60s. By our midnight tonight, we're in the lower and middle 60s. And then over the course of the nighttime hours, noticing a few spots drop into the upper 50s briefly before they begin to rebound, thanks to all the sunshine that we have. By lunchtime, we're back up into the um, lower and middle 70s. And then by the afternoon, upper 70s for our high temperature on our Saturday. So it'll be very comfortable night tonight as well as going into tomorrow and tomorrow evening the same can be said for Sunday too so right now it's starting to become a bit more comfortable 74 in Champaign 73 in Pontiac compared to 80 in Effingham so again the cooler air more comfortable air is working into the area um, but some locations especially around the I-70 corridor are still just a touch on the muggy side and that's where the dew points are higher in Effingham for example than compared to here in Champaign or in Bloomington that's all thanks to our winds coming in out of the northwest up to around 15 miles per hour but it'll be clear tonight a low of 57 with northwest winds pretty light at only five miles per hour and then a beautiful day tomorrow upper 70s maybe even a few 80s sneaking in here 78 for the high tomorrow in champagne run 80 in jacksonville and 76 in paris just a really really nice day
So here's the seven day forecast. Uh, we're looking to be pretty quiet here. Um, the rain chance coming in Wednesday into Thursday is just a bit outside of future tracks realm, how far it can go out. But basically looking at a chance here for a few storms on Thursday, which could provide us with some good beneficial downpours there. But you can't deny this is a very welcoming and very comfortable weekend that we've got coming in once again. It's really been a true relief to have these yes. comfortable temperatures around. And it's crazy. We keep saying it. It's August. It should not be this comfortable. It should be much more muggy. We'll take it. We definitely will. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Yep. We'll be right back. At All About Eyes, I like that we go out of our way to help patients get exactly what they need. We offer standard eye exams and even diabetic eye exams. I especially love helping kids. Their first pair of glasses is a life-changing experience. You can always see how happy and excited they are. It's a whole new world for them. I love seeing our patients leave happy. At All About Eyes, it makes us feel good knowing our patients feel good. At Effingham Homes, they provide affordable, quality homes for everyone. You, the homeowner, determine the specifics, customizing every aspect, from the carpeting and baseboards to the last shingle on the roof. Effingham Homes prides itself on every detail. Being locally owned and operated means the owner oversees every step in the process, and you'll see and feel that every time you return home. In fact, Steve personally delivers each home to the job site, making sure it's how you want it. Exceptional, distinctive, and affordable. You're sure to feel at home with Effingham Homes. The Cubs are back, and X49 is the place to catch all the excitement of the World Series champion Chicago Cubs as they try to repeat an historic season. Join us all summer long on X49 as we bring you Cubs baseball live. Sunday at 3, the Chicago Cubs take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Cubs baseball on X49. Go, Cubs, go. I'm Judy Fraser, and I'd like you to welcome WCIA3's brand new chief meteorologist, Kevin Lighting. Kevin is going to continue the long-standing tradition of serving our community. I would like you to accept Kevin into your home. He brings 15 years of experience and a passion for forecasting weather on location and chasing storms. Chief meteorologist Kevin Lighty on WCIA3, your local weather leader. News in HD continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. We're just 10 days away from the first total solar eclipse in almost 100 years. And watching the celestial event is a rare experience, but it also carries a lot of dangers. Danielle Nottingham has tips on safe eclipse viewing. Leonard Bates was nine years old when he saw his first eclipse. The 80-year-old made his own viewer instead of using solar glasses. I didn't think it was necessary to buy smoke glass, so I smoked some glass myself. That decision cost him. Bates permanently lost some vision in his right eye. There was a spot right in the center of my right eye, my focus. It was just a blur. Millions of Americans are getting ready to view the next eclipse on August 21st. But Dr. Russell Van Gelder from the University of Washington School of Medicine warns blindness is a risk if you don't have proper eye protection. It's so dangerous for people to look at the sun, even for brief periods of time, because you can cause permanent damage to the retina. We call it solar retinopathy, and it's really very close to burning a hole in the retina. The only way to safely view a partial or total eclipse is with certified solar Solar glasses. Simple sunglasses are not enough. The American Astronomical Society has a list of reputable eclipse glasses and handheld viewers on its website, stamped with this approval code. The other piece of advice I have is uh, when you're watching the eclipse with children, be sure the kids keep their eye protection on. It's very exciting for them and they want to take the, the eye protection off. <laughs> very, very careful. I mean, the the warnings that you hear are right. Bates still has vision in his left eye. He says this time around, he'll watch the eclipse on TV. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles. You will also need to use solar filter on cameras, binoculars, and telescopes, and don't use eclipse glasses to look through them. The focused sunlight can melt the filter and damage the eyes. And for a list of reputable glasses and viewers from the American Astronomical Society, head over to IllinoisHomePage.net. You can buy them online or get a pair at the Starkle Planetarium in Champaign. They only cost a couple dollars. But we'll take you to the farm coming up next. 
Tired of your lazy checking account that does nothing for you? It's time to power up with Land of Lincoln Credit Union's new Amped Checking. Get more from this free checking by earning up to 4% interest on the money you use every day. Membership is open to the Effingham community. So visit our branch on South Banker or call 342-7077. Federally insured by the NCUA, other qualifications may apply. Land of Lincoln Credit Union. Bank on learning more. The new and improved ihp to go app is totally updated, easier to use with a fresh new look and new functions. Get your local news, weather, and sports everywhere you go. The new and improved ihp to go Download it for free today. Powered by WCIA3 News. There can be one and only one most accurate forecast in central Illinois. And for the fifth year running, the honor goes to Chief Meteorologist Kevin Leidy and the WCIA3 weather team. Independently certified by weather rate, most accurate. When a couple of degrees can mean the difference between rain or snow you need to know it's how you plan your day wcia3 is certified the most accurate forecast five years in a row wcia3 your local weather leader Hey everyone, it's Matt Metcalf with your CI Living Caring Company's community calendar. When you're stressed, one of the most common things to do is to take a deep breath. But for people with chronic pulmonary disease, something as simple as taking a breath can become a real challenge. The Better Breathers Support Group educates about the disease while offering comfort to those affected. Well, despite the drop in temperature, I know it's still summer. And how, you ask? Well, because there's still summer fairs, of course. You can join in on the fun during the last few days of the Georgetown Fair. They've got classics like the Demolition Derby, the Tractor Pull. You're going to want to bring the whole family for some summer fun. And don't forget, every Tuesday from 3.30 to 6.30, you can enjoy locally produced foods at the Champagne Farmer's Market. Set up in downtown Champaign, you're going to hear music, enjoy new meal ideas, and even meet some of the farmers who grow your food. For more information or to submit your event information, head over to IllinoisHomePage.net. In times of joy, in moments of grief, we are there. When the world looks for truth, broadcasters come through, even when all else fails. Today, with more ways than ever to experience the moments that transform our lives, Americans still choose broadcast television and radio more than all other media combined. We are the local broadcasters of radio and television. The news in HD continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. The Department of Agriculture has made its first estimate of the actual size of this year's corn and soybean crops. WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has the August 1st crop report and today's from the farm. USDA's National Ag Statistics Service served up a roundhouse in the breadbasket Thursday for farmers in the grain market who are expecting a five bushel cut in the national corn yield, at least compared to earlier estimates. Well, that didn't happen. And the corn market dropped 12 to 13 cents yesterday. Although unofficial yield estimates were in the neighborhood of 165 bushels, the USDA only nudged its projection down from a July estimate of 170 and a half to the August 1st official estimate of 169 and a half. And while that was a disappointment to many, the USDA is not known for major cuts in production estimates. One significant issue was that the August estimate is based on ear counts per acre. USDA's crop enumerators said the yield data indicated the fifth highest number of ears on record for the 10 major states. A second significant issue was that the July weather stress on the crop was not taken into consideration because the field sampling occurred, some of it, before the end of the month. The outcome was an initial projection of 14.2 billion bushels of corn. And while that's 7% less than last year, it was about a billion more bushels than the market expected. In soybean fields, USDA calculated the yield at 49.4 bushels per acre, projecting a nearly 4.4 billion bushel crop, up 2% from last year. But the USDA projections resulted in a significant drop in the market, down about 30 cents for beans. One trader said after the USDA numbers were released that those pre-report estimates only set us up for a major disappointment, and that was certainly true. That's our report from the farm this morning. I'm Stu Ellis for WCIA3, your local news leader. Well, they're fast, they race, but they don't have wheels or legs. We'll explain next. 
the city, on the farm, or exploring the countryside, CI Living is always at home in your community, sharing your stories. It's the reason we want to hear your ideas. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or email. CI Living, weekdays at 4 on WCIA 3. We are more than you think. We are unique coffee lovers. We're walking it off. We are wine connoisseurs. We are passionate. We take pride in our town, families, and friendships. We are farm to table. We are your festival destination. The place that moves you, reminds you of home. With over 65 restaurants and 17 hotels, we are your next destination. We are Effingham. Utz and Associates Architects is changing the face of Central Illinois from design to visualization to consulting. Utz and Associates is the solution for your next design challenge. Contact Utz and Associates Architects now to get your ideas moving forward. WCIA3 and Helia Healthcare salute the volunteers and supporters of Family Fun Day. Join the fun this August 12th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Centennial Park. It's food trucks, fire trucks, and face painting, all to benefit our Alzheimer's Association. It's the new and improved IHP to go app. It's totally updated, easier to use with a fresh new look and new functions. Download the IllinoisHomepage.net app to your phone or tablet for free today and stay up to date with Central Illinois local news, weather, sports, and lifestyle content. The IllinoisHomepage.net app is everywhere you go. The new and improved IHP to go. Download it for free today. Powered by WCIA 3 News. <laughs> Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. The News in HD continues here on WCIA 3, your local news leader. They can reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour and an architect's group is out racing all the time. We're not talking about cars, we're talking about remote controlled drones. KSLA News 12's Eric Pointer explains what you need to know if you want to join their high flying fun. And we hear a few startup tones of the motors starting up. Quinn Craig is with the drone racing group Red River FPV, or First Person View. And he says they work to educate people on drone uses and take away the negative connotation that they're just used to spy. Really and truly, uh, we haven't seen any of that, you know, come to light. You know, these are extremely noisy things with cameras that are low resolution. Uh, if you want to, you know, spy on someone, you can have a digital camera with a long lens and make no noise. Quinn says they demonstrate safe practice and comply with FAA regulations. Safe zones would be under 400 foot and outside of the range of airports, not in flight paths, not flying towards people or over people, uh, and generally, you know, following common sense rules like that. And it's not just about flying the drones, they're equipped with a little camera. That way the person flying them, the pilot, can experience the flight. You feel like you're in the craft. Uh, it's something that you absolutely cannot experience because something this size can fly through uh, tree branches that a human couldn't fit through at 100 miles an hour. And you're able to do flips and rolls, and uh, it, it's incredible. Quinn says his group races at South Bossier Park monthly, and they fly around the shreveport Bossier area for practice. Reporting in Bossier City, Eric Pointer, KSLA News 12. And it's only August, but some stores are already stocking up on Halloween candy and the newest addition, Brock's cookie-flavored candy corn. It's shaped like traditional candy corn, and the packaging shows a variety of cookies like chocolate chip, oatmeal, and sugar. We'll have to see which flavor it most resembles. And we'll have a final check of your forecast after this. 
My favorite part about my job at All About Eyes is helping people. We really go to great lengths to make our patients happy. Our staff is very thorough, and lenses are made to order in our own lab. This gives patients control over their own eyewear. Giving people options is the biggest thing we do. We have glasses to match any budget or lifestyle. At All About Eyes, it's about going the extra mile to make sure all of our patients are satisfied. One of country music's hottest stars. I'm feeling Scotty McCreary. Live in concert. Friday, November 10th, 8 p.m. Effingham Performance Center. Reserve seat tickets are on sale now online at Ticketmaster.com. 800-745-3000 or the box office, the EPC. Your entertainment destination. Scotty McCreary. At Effingham Homes, they provide affordable, quality homes for everyone. You, the homeowner, determine the specifics, customizing every aspect, from the carpeting and baseboards to the last shingle on the roof. Effingham Homes prides itself on every detail. Being locally owned and operated means the owner oversees every step in the process, and you'll see and feel that every time you return home. In fact, Steve personally delivers each home to the job site, making sure it's how you want it. Exceptional, distinctive, and affordable. You're sure to feel at home with Effingham Homes. The Cubs are back, and X49 is the place to catch all the excitement of the World Series champion Chicago Cubs as they try to repeat an historic season. Join us all summer long on X49 as we bring you Cubs baseball live. Sunday at 3, the Chicago Cubs take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Cubs baseball on X49. Go, Cubs, go. One last look at the seven-day forecast. A fantastic weekend. Plenty of sunshine both days. Upper 70s. Once we get to Monday, we're around the low 80s, and we'll kind of be in the lower to middle 80s as we go towards Wednesday and Thursday. Now, the difference is, by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, we have chances for some rain. We do need the rain. It's been very dry, especially for us here in Champaign, for example. I know that uh, we didn't get much rain out of the storms last night, so uh, some rain is going to be nice across the area. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be Jack. nice. And thank you for joining us. Join us again tonight at 10 on WC. Have a good night. The Insider tracking the biggest stories making news today. Number one, Taylor Swift's bodyguard takes the stand in her sexual assault trial why he didn't intervene in what he's calling a violation of her body. Then, inside Jen and Justin's hairy relationship, why they're stronger than ever after two years of marriage. Give me three things great about Justin. Only three? And number three, in the wake of Chris Pratt and Anna Faris' split, Kristen Bell sounds off on her secrets to a successful celebrity marriage. I love my husband, I love my marriage, but it is very hard. Plus your insider bonus, are you ready to GTL again? It's time to return to the Jersey Shore, so why is the cast reuniting? Who doesn't want to get together and drink for a full?